hello and welcome back to my channel uh sorry there's no like proper intro to this but my camera is not really working right now so we're just going right into the tier list but um yeah so um this is obviously as the title implies a tier list of disney channel shows um it's the ones that i watched like when they were on the air so like this isn't current shows it's kind of like throwback to when I watched Disney Channel as a kid. Um, I already, like, removed all the ones that I haven't seen from it. But, uh, yeah, so, just a quick disclaimer. There's really no objectivity here because I watched these as a child, so they're all, like, kind of part of my childhood in some way, mostly. So, there's just... Nostalgia is going to play a factor in this, and there's really no way around that. But, yeah, I mean, might as well just get into it. So, first up on here is Ant Farm. Uh, I'm gonna just put this in decent. Um, I guess I, I forgot to explain the tiers, but I, I think those of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, anyway, so yeah, this one's a decent. I kind of enjoyed the show. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I watched it. I don't remember. I think I watched it all the way through to the end, and it was always, like, pretty fun. Um, but it was never one of the ones that I was, like, super eager that, like, I had to get back in front of my TV to watch when it came on. So, yeah, just decent. Then there's Austin and Allie. Um, kind of the same vibe. I think I'll put it a little bit higher just because I liked the music in it. Um, but it was never... There was a brief period when I actually, like, was messing and watching it, and after that, it's kind of not so much. Uh, this one, the best friends whenever. I watched, like, four episodes of this. Like, the first four or five episodes, um, this wasn't, I never watched it, like, like, I was already kind of past Disney Channel by the time it aired, I think I was just bored one day and checked it out. I watched, like, four or five episodes, and obviously I stopped watching, so I'm assuming it's down there, I really don't remember anything of it. But yeah, um, Dog with a Blog. Okay, look, I don't know that this show is actually any good, but... <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot, um, I love dogs, talking dog is fun, and I really liked the actresses who played the two sisters in it, um, I just, you know, find that fun, so, even though it was a ridiculous show with a ridiculous premise, and the ending got, I did not like the ending, I will say that, but I was always really decently invested in the show, so, yeah, you know. Okay, um, Girl Meets World, I'm putting in Amazing, um, really mostly because of the factor, the throwback factor to Boy Meets World, which I only watched Boy Meets World because of the promos for Girl Meets World coming out, and I'm very glad I did, because that show was really good. Girl Meets World was not as good, but it did have, like, resolutions to a lot of stuff that happened in the original show, and it did that well, so just for that, it goes up in this tier. I mean, it, it had some really good stuff for that you know, might have been in the top tier if it didn't have that stupid, stupid love triangle plot. Um, but yeah. Next up is Good Luck Charlie. Um, definitely one of the top two tiers. Um, you know what? Why not? I'll put it in the top tier, because I don't want the top tier to only be one show. Um, yeah, I, I really liked Good Luck Charlie. Um, it was something that I, I always, like, watched, I, didn't start watching it until it was already a couple seasons in, but I always really enjoyed it. Um, it has huge nostalgia for me. Uh, when I was a camp counselor, one of my campers called it a really old show, and that just made me, like, die a little bit on the inside, um, because I just really enjoyed the show, and it was just, I don't know, just something about it. The family vibe was great. <laughs> There's not really a way to, like, talk about why I feel a certain way about this show, because, like I said, nostalgia is a big part of it, but... Yeah, this is definitely going up there. I really love the characters. Teddy's great. Bridget Mendler is pretty awesome. So, yeah. Um, then there's Hannah Montana. Um, yeah, it was a good show. Um, I know it means a lot more to other people, but by the time I watched it, it was already only in reruns. And, like, I never watched it while it was airing, or I never saw it in order. So it doesn't have the nostalgia factor for me that has for some others, because it was just, like, a couple years before my time. But, um, it was good stuff. I enjoyed it. Um, brother-sister relationship was nice. That was fun. I was never, like, a fan of Hannah Montana's music, so I wasn't, like, that into the show, but it was good. Then is Jesse. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it there. It was- I really enjoyed it. Again, I don't 
like when they say these shows are like good or amazing or whatever, this is not an objective ranking. This is my subjective ranking based on how much I enjoyed these shows while they were airing. So, you know, if you disagree and think a show is trash, it's perfectly fine. I, again, I haven't watched most of these in like seven or eight years, so nostalgia goggles, warning heck. It's actually seven or eight might be even be much at this point. It, it's been quite a few years. I think, actually, no, I think seven is right. 2014 would have been right about, that's when I started high school, so. Anyway, um, yeah, so, I really like Jesse. I really like the whole family vibe, um, yeah, it was just, it was a good show, when I mean, the actor who played Luke died, that was, like, really sad, um, but I, I really like all the actors in the show, and I thought it was just a fun time. Next up on the list, we have, oh, Liv and Maddie, uh, this is weird. Yeah, I don't know why that one. I mean, I wouldn't say it was bad, but it was just not. Like, see, really, like I watched a couple of seasons. I definitely never watched it to the end. Um, I did like some of it, but whole concept, like, I don't know, something about it just totally landed with me. And like the whole one of the siblings a famous actress thing. I don't know. The heightened premise is a little much. I mean, obviously. You have Austin and Allie, where he's, like, a famous singer, but at least they show him having to go on a journey to get there. I don't know. There's something about it. There's something about why it was weird. I did enjoy parts of it, but it just wasn't totally into it. Um, next up after that, we have My Babysitter's Vampire. This is... Hmm. I'm gonna put it here. This show is really good. Honestly, I might even, you know what? I'm gonna even, I'm gonna put it even here. I, I like this show a lot. Um, I think it was kind of weird because I I think it wasn't actually Disney Channel. It was like they aired it, but it was like made in Canada or whatever. I don't know. Look, maybe this is an unpopular opinion. I honestly have never seen this show talked about, so I don't know. But I really enjoyed this show. The movie was pretty fun, and then the show got good. Um, I find it really funny that, um, the actress, um, played a teenager, and then, like, ten years later is playing a teenager in Riverdale. That's kind of wild. <laughs> um, I guess she's not playing a teenager in Riverdale anymore, because of the time jump, but whatever. I'm not up to date on Riverdale. Um, anyway, I just think that's kind of absurd, because, um, she was actually a teenager in this, and they were all good, the acting was good, the plot was good, I kind of was sad it got cancelled, because I really wanted to see more of it, um, and it's a weird one, because, like, I don't really think of it ever, like, I, I kind of forget it exists until it comes up somehow, but I, I did enjoy it a lot, um, alright, Shake It Up. So the thing about Shake It Up is this is the first thing, like, the girl that Zendaya was in, and I, um, I, like, I mean, it was so weird to me, like, I watched, um, The Greatest Showman, and she just was in it, and she showed up, and I was like, wait, what, how did she turn into this big movie star all of a sudden, because I just knew her as, like, the girl from Shake It Up, like, that I watched when I was, like, ten years old, and suddenly she's, like, a big movie star, and it's, like, she's been in, like, some real adult stuff now, but it's just wild, because, like, she started to shake it up, I mean, I, I assume she, she probably had, like, some small roles before that, but that was, I think, her first big role, and it's just... Yeah, I mean, she's really good. I I liked the show. It was fun. I mean, it was another one. All the premises for these shows are kind of ridiculous. Like, <laughs> Good Luck Charlie was probably the most realistic of the premises. Maybe, maybe Girl Meets World. I mean, it was just people living in New York. But, um, like, a lot of these have really heightened, ridiculous premises. And I don't mean, like, fantasy elements. Like, I just mean, like, famous actor, famous singer, famous dancers, famous movie producers, dog that talks, like, it's so much, oh, super talented children at special school, like, there's a lot of really weird premises to these shows, but, um, you know, still fun. Uh, after that, Sunny with a Chance, oh boy, I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't even have put this on here. I don't remember it at all, really. I mean, I did watch it. I didn't remember watching it, but I can only remember a couple of episodes. I'm just gonna put it there, because from what I remember, it was kind of a weird premise, but I don't I don't remember it well enough. Um, and then, so random, the sketch show. I mean, the fact that they turned a show that they worked on into its own show, I admired the, the, the boldness of the move, but I was never much of a fan of it. Um, 
stuck in the middle. <sighs> this one was weird. Um, I'm not going to put it in the lowest tier. Like, I did enjoy parts of it. Uh, plus, it was set in Massachusetts, and I live in Massachusetts, so that was fun. Um, but it, it was weird. Um, I don't know if it ever got renewed after the first season. I know I only watched the first season. I don't even know if I watched all of it. Um, but, yeah, it was it was a little weird, but I like family stuff, so that kind of pushed it up a little bit for me. Okay. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Um, it's a good, it's a good show. Um, it was, it was good stuff. I mean, they're, they're fun. Uh, the supporting cast, I think, are really fun. London is... <laughs> I don't like when they make characters that are really dumb for no reason, but at least she is kind of funny for it. Um... Yeah, it was just, it was just a good show. Um, I'm not making any sense in this video, sorry. Um, then Sweet Life on Deck. Um, it was also good, it wasn't as good, but it, it had some decent stuff. Um, well, I think we just overloaded that tier. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was decent. And now we get to the final show in the list. Which makes, it's just fitting, because it is the best one. Wizards of Waverly Place. This was easily my favorite Disney Channel show. Um, and unlike all of these others that I haven't seen in like seven or more years, uh, when I got Disney Plus a couple years ago, the first thing I did was rewatch Wizards of Waverly Place, and it holds up. I mean, maybe some people don't agree, but to me, it holds up. I love this show. I'm actually some of the episodes are weird or cringy, but in general, I just I love thinking about it. I mean, <laughs> so good. And the movie. <laughs> Easily one of the like top five Disney Channel original movies ever is the Wizard of Waverly Place movie. But even just the show, so great. Uh, I love the uh, family dynamic. I mean, all the siblings and how even though they fight, that they're always there. Like Alex and Justin's relationship, one of my favorite sibling relationships in TV. Like even just favorite like character dynamics in TV. I love that. Um, the magic. Obviously, I love magic and the fantasy vibe. And it's all just great. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, there's several. I just really, really love this show. Um, family's great, the magic's great. There's some ridiculous things in there, but they like they're intentionally ridiculous. So it's a lot. It's not like some of the other shows that kind of take themselves a little too seriously. Like when it goes ridiculous, it goes ridiculous. There's also like genuine emotional stuff in it, especially in the movie. Uh, I said I was done talking about, but I'm not, I really love Wizards of Waverly Place. And if you haven't seen Wizards of Waverly Place, you should definitely go and watch Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, and yeah, that's my tier list. Sorry that some of the thoughts were kind of rambling. It didn't make sense. Um, but like I said, I haven't seen these shows in a while. I just wanted to talk about them. Um, so yeah, it's fun. This is my tier list of the Disney Channel shows I have seen. Obviously, I wasn't going to waste time on ones I haven't seen. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see me, like, rank or tier list. I know, uh, I've done a couple of these, and they're, in terms of videos to make, like, some of the easier ones. So if you have anything else you want to see, too, please let me know. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!